champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. out of you that round. Good to try again. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. In 
incendiary. again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Yes. The best jewelist won, I suppose. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up, if you need to stop practicing. Accio! Incendio! Levioso! Excellent form! Nicely done. Akio. Incendio. You'll get it. Next time, perhaps. Akio. Incendio. Levioso. Incendio. Good one. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. 
Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Off on another adventure, are we? Take care of everything I had asked. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady mind. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well... Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? 
I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Incendiarmus may save your life. Expelliarmus. What are you up to now? Revelio. Incendio. 
Days are over. Rebellion. Rebellion. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. 
I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Rebellion. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you talking. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird. Potato! Incendio! Spelly Rebellion. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jack was surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Rebellion. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> Let me 
risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. How big this place is. Rebellion. but it doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Rebellion. I wonder if any of the spells will help me through this. Rebellion. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. 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 
Rebellion. That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. Akio. Sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. My fault you're a deadly great spider.
That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Akio! An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Akio! Revelio! Incendio! Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind. Where could he be? to this. Incendio. Rebellion. 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 Expelliarmus. Incendium. 
incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this. There's no sign of him. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what they're headed with Jack. Incendio, Potato. Levios. Accio. Expelliarmus. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. Search of this cave. I need to look around for the symbol. Rebellion.
must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? What? That's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Revelia! Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention and... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. 
As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Revelio.
found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And 
If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in room. one piece. <laughs> This'll take some getting used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Rebellion. Oh. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <laughs> Can't say no to that. A bit of a detour, so to... Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the garden, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. 
Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Revelio. If I been twitching, I wish I, I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. 
our mate told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Incendium. Rebellion. I'm going to have to use Aki to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Rebellion. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Rebellion. Rebellion. Accio. You know, it does help to know where you stand. Rebellion. the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my...
Hogsmeade, here I come. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy. You've no idea how... Here are the invisibility potions she requested. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say... Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. 
But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I, I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades. What I need is someone to... As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is an ideal situation. I could complete work on my first upgrade. What? That sounds intriguing. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new... The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the... Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Rebellion. You're back! Nice... <sighs> I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes.
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard? I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Rebellion. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you... Repair it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to... I suggest you practice the one. Splendid. Now, let's go on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? Rebellion. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Rebellion. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us. Akio. <coughs> Rebellion. Rebellion.
Kill. Rebellion. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, Akio! Oh, you worthless pile of tin! Rebellion! How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Rebellion. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. Rebellion. We hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. Uh, 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 hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest.
yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided Rebellion. you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable... Rebellion. I'm a it will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or... Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. You should have acquired some for a potion station and... I did. While resources such as Moonster, they can also be collected by vanishing... I see. You can in... Why don't you give it a try? You should find both familiar... Prepare Pretty good. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hoxmead or outside the castle grounds. will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a... Deke has had a good deal of... I shall let Deke tell you. I will be sure to speak with Deke. Good luck. I shall linger... I'm ready. Very well. You can acquire it by vanishing I Return to me. I have the moons. Good. You can conjure more. Conjuration can be used. Why don't you try it on?
work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next? I think you're ready to... The altering spell will allow... You can change the colors, pat... Let's get started, shall we? Just aim your wand... and perform the altering spell to customize it. done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst you... <laughs> Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk. Professor Weasley said I... Of course. I would like them. Oh, sounds... Quite. Of course, you needn't keep this. Now you have learned a. Thank you, Professor. Indeed. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spells. Thank you. Good. I'll leave you to it. 